here i am going to discuss how to convert date to integer so first of all write down string string m is equal to 24 7 2013 so it's the date we have typed and then you have to make object simple date format d1 or g is equal to new simple date format and there whatever format you will type it must be similar to this one format so write down dd capital m m capital m and here 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 okay so now in order to convert this string to the date you have to call the date you have to take the reference of date class date k is equal to g dot parse and note here this parse function will convert string to the date so write down parse here the string okay now next you have to print out system out dot print line and k next what error it is giving add throw that we will do it later on okay add throw so here we have thrown this parse exception next you have to do you can also check out from date no first of all you have to run shift f6 note here we have the got the date in the format wait here got some error okay i am correct it is actually converting string converting converting string to date format that i have already told you so here this format is purely correct okay we have typed this one 24 7 and it we have got in the date format so for example if we write here 22 then shift f6 then note here we have got second july and this one date also so it's working fine now in order to now we will check out okay that's it okay now you can also check out now take this current date d that i have already told date new and date it will give you the current date okay now if we have to check the true or false value by using the after or before you can also simply write system dot out dot print it's the same task which we have already done earlier d dot after and this one value k okay no it will definitely going to return you d that is current date it is after this k and that's true shift f6 that's true okay now we are going to discuss another topic that is a calendar class so you have to first of all write calendar calendar c1 is equal to new not new that is a calendar dot get instance and then we have to write take the reference of date class date d is equal to c1 that is object which we have made of the calendar c1 dot get time it will give us the time 
get time. Okay. Now print out system dot out dot print line D. Okay. Next run it shift F6 run anyway okay I have done one mistake create class create this one throw sparse exception no I have to throw here only exception let's see how it works calendar okay I have written the wrong spelling calendar Okay, shift F6. So, note here. By using calendar class 2, we can get the time. Why calendar class is useful? As we know that earlier what whatever we have discussed can be applicable to one or other computer. Not for the all computer. But this calendar class will be applicable with any other computer. That's why we use calendar class. Next, we will see how to get the R from the calendar class. So, write in N1 is equal to C1 dot get and then calendar calendar dot R. Okay. That's all. And then you have to write print out sister dot out dot print line and then n1 okay oh, oh. n1 run it shift f6 note here we have got the time 4 as now current time is 417 that's why I have got 4 so similarly you can get the minutes let's see f for the r control v control v and for the minutes right here minutes minutes and here i will see for the second 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 okay change it to n2 and then here also change it to okay c1 dot n2 and here I will change to n3 and here I will change it to n3 now run it shift f6 note here I have got 4 17 56 that's all next you can also get the year control v control v control v and here I will get the year, 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 and here I can get the month, month, and I here I will write N4, write N4, and there I will write N5, and there I will write N5, okay, shift F6, no. You can get here control V month year and then date also D A T E date and six and here and six. So run it shift F six. So note here that's for the year. 2013 and here I have got the month 6 why 6 because months are started from 0 that's why it has given me 6 and today date is 24 next I can also get the week of the year just control V and calendar and there I have to write week week of year okay and here i will write n7 n7 okay fine control c why i'm getting error let's see it control v 
week of the week here week week of the year okay now i have to write day of the year you have to simply write day day of the right i can write here an eight and here an eight okay so now control shift f6 i have to press note it down the week of the year is 30 and day of the year is 205 now next one is that you can also set the time also how to set time with the calendar class c1 that's the object which we have earlier created just write c1 then set set is necessary to set the month or anything else write it down calendar calendar dot month here i'll choose month okay and i'll write it suppose i write 10 here i'm going to choose this 10 now whenever i will here note this d is the object of the date class remember c1 dot and now you can get time with the function get time get time okay and now you can print out system dot out dot print line and then d shift f6 remember this is the time which we have set month we have set 10 means november although it is 11th month but you know it months are always started from the zero so that's why it comes november now that's all for the calendar class now there is also one calendar called gregorian calendar and we can supply date in the form of integer in this gregorian calendar we can supply the date in the form of integer to the constructor of the gregorian gregorian calendar otherwise it will pass default date that is the current date so how to do it let's have a look now for the gregorian calendar you have to do first of all eliminate this eliminate this one and for it you have to write Gregorian calendar Gre Gregorian calendar calendar is the C1 is equal to new Gregorian calendar calendar and here there are three types of constructors in the Gregorian calendar one is default one we have passed nothing another constructor is copy it control V and there control V and there control V now C2 and here C3 here we will pass the parameters that is the only the day that is the we are passing 2013 today is 7 then 24th that's the current date and we can also pa pass this date as well as time control v here i'm pressing control v and there i can pass the date or oh, time so 18 suppose here is 4 25 okay now next is that you can also check whether the year is leap year or not so you can check out system dot out dot print line and then c1 dot is leap year there we have to pass the year name 2012 so why we have used C1 here. No here. Is leap year is not a static object. In order to call this is leap year, which is a method in the Gregorian calendar class, 
you have to make the object of Gregorian calendar. That's why we have used C1 dot is leap year 2012. There we have to pass the year which we want to check whether it is a leap year or not. So now we will print out system dot uh, okay f6. So it will return us boolean value that is true or false. Here it is returning true. If we write 13 then let's see it will definitely going to return us false. Now next Now you can also see the current date, that is a date from the Gregorian calendar, date D is equal to, we have to use the Gregorian calendar object C1 dot get time, get time here and then nothing else, then we have to write system dot out dot print line. And there we have to print out, sorry, D, shift F6. So here we will display this current date. So that's all for today's tutorial.